Now we've learned a lot about polygons in this unit and in this concept we're going to learn about some very specific polygons that are called parallelograms. Now notice this graphic talks about quadrilaterals that those are four-sided figures and parallelograms, all parallelograms, are quadrilaterals. What we're going to look at in this video are different types of parallelograms, rectangles, rhombuses, squares, and just parallelograms. We're going to learn a lot of characteristics about each of these four. You need to write them down and memorize them because you will be tested on them. So let's get right to it. For all parallelograms, a parallelogram is first a quadrilateral, so it's always a four-sided figure. A parallelogram has opposite sides that are congruent. That means opposite sides are the same length. Parallelogram opposite sides are, all, are also parallel. That's where it gets its name from. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are also congruent. So in our diagram, angle A is congruent to angle C, and angle B is congruent to angle D. Consecutive angles, that means two angles right together, are supplementary. So we could look at our diagram and say, if I added angle A and angle B, I would get 180 degrees, because that's what supplementary means. The same could be said for angle A and D, D and C, and B and C. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. That means they cut them into two congruent segments. Make sure that you have these all written down, and you will need to memorize them. Let's look at the characteristics of a rhombus, which is a type of parallelogram. So it's a four-sided figure, and it has all the properties of a parallelogram. It also has these properties. A rhombus has all sides congruent. The diagonals of a rhombus are, they don't not only bisect each other, they are perpendicular. And the diagonals of a rhombus bisect a pair of opposite angles. Again, you need to write all of these down and memorize that these are characteristics of a rhombus. Now the characteristics of a rectangle, in addition to all of the characteristics of a parallelogram, all the angles of a rectangle are 90 degrees. They are right angles. The diagonals of a rectangle not only bisect each other, they're congruent. Again, write these down and memorize them. The characteristics of a square are that a square is a rhombus and it is also a rectangle. So it shares all of the characteristics of a parallelogram, all of the properties of a rhombus, and all of the properties of a rectangle. Let's use some of the properties of a parallelogram. I've given you a figure here and I want you to find the value of x and y. Now looking at this, I can see that AB is parallel to DC because of the markings and AD is parallel to BC. Therefore, I know this is a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. Um, since it is a parallelogram, I know that opposite sides are congruent. They equal each other. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say x plus 4 equals 12. And when I solve this, I'm going to get that x equals 8. Another thing I know about parallelograms is that their opposite angles are congruent or equal each other. Therefore, I can say that angle A equals angle C, so Y equals 65 degrees. For any rhombus, Q, R, S, T, decide whether the given statement is always or sometimes true and explain your thinking. Well, I'm going to actually draw a rhombus here, Q, R, S, T, and I know that opposite angles of a rhombus are congruent because it's a parallelogram. So I know that Q has to be congruent to S, 
And I'm going to draw another kind of a rhombus here, uh, which is a square, because a square is also a rhombus. So in this particular diagram, Q is not only congruent to S, it's congruent to all of the other sides, including R. So I would say angle Q is congruent to angle R sometimes when a rhombus is a square. But Q is congruent to S always. All right. These are properties, again, that you're going to be held accountable to know. So make sure that you do a lot of studying on this and you're ready for your practice.